here in Ljubljana with a skater from the Republic of South Africa, Nicholas van der Pfeiffer. Did I get it right? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh, Nicholas, thank you very much for joining us here. Really want to know how you discovered skating or how skating discovered you. Um, it started a long, long time ago when I went with a friend to the ice rink in South Africa uh, for a birthday party. and. We stayed there for quite a while and then I told my mom I want to go back, I want to go back, I want to go back. So we came back a few times and then a coach saw me from one of our clubs and told me that I should come join them, come start skating with them and everything like that. And here I am today. It, it, what did you like? I mean, what attracted you about the sport? I mean, obviously you, you, know, you could just say, no, I'm not going back to that, yeah, but I you did. didn't. I, I think it was the falling and getting up, the falling and getting up, the falling and getting up. I mean, I I would I'd step on the ice and fall and get back up and try again and fall and get back up and try again. So it was like the the thrill of being able to okay I can do this I can do this and it it's just exciting it's a very exciting sport it's up has its ups and downs. So it was a little bit about the difficulty of the sport yes, like yes, and, yeah. and get, so I wanted to ask you what that first feeling was when you did your first axle or your first double axle. Uh, my first single axle well this was quite a while ago but it was like amazing it was like it's one of those biggest the biggest milestones for me like oh I've landed my axle I'm like the best skater in the world whatever whatever and then the double axle was more of a shock type of thing it was like oh wow I actually landed it like I, I landed it and then I was like was that really a double axle it didn't seem as hard as I thought it would be so it was like the single axle was a lot like more joy and the double axle was a lot more shock well, you're a very strong skater. You get lots of height in the air on that double axle. It was very nice last night. Uh, tell me a little bit, have you been following the Junior Grand Prix online before? This is your first competition. Did you follow the Junior Grand Prix before? Uh, yes, I follow the Junior Grand Prix. I follow the world, follow the Olympics. It's, like, it, it's motivation, but at the same time, it's scary to see like how far other skaters are compared to me. But it's like, I can, if I really work, I can get there. Yeah, on the way here, you were telling me about, uh, I asked you if you like skating. You said, well, it's scary, but it's also exhilarating. Tell me about those two conflicting feelings. I mean, it's scary, obviously, when you, when you like, you're about to go skate, or you, you, you add a practice and you have a bad practice. You think, oh my gosh, am I really going to do well? Am I, am I worth it? Am I supposed to be here? But after the skating, just as you're skating, you're like, wow, I can do this. I've, I've worked for this for a long time now. And afterwards you're like, yes, it's, it's done, I tried my best. So it's, it's joy, but at the same time, before that, it's, like, it's scary to think, oh my gosh, I made it here, made it this far. Well, let's finish this interview with your feelings about your skate uh, here in Ljubljana uh, last night. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are on your experience. I mean, the, the sh I started out pretty decently, I'll, I'll take it, it was a decent program for me. It wasn't my best, but wasn't my worst. And then the long, I wasn't very happy with it, but at the same time it was a very big learning learning curve for me, a big experience for me. First time ever coming to a Grand Prix. So, it, it was more than I expected I could do, but at the same time I still wanted to do more, give off more. But again, it's a learning curve and I, I hope to come back next year stronger than ever. Well, thank you so much for that comment. Uh, as watching your skin, you're a big, strong boy. You get lots of height. You may want to tighten up a little yes, bit in yes, the air yes, to get a little faster and get around those triples and whatnot. But what a great joy to watch you skate. Thank you for attending the Junior Grand Prix. We thank wish you, you so the much. very best of luck in the rest of the season. We'll be following you. Thank you so much. You're